And so we yeah. have a little thing we call relationship rhetoric, mm-hmm. right? Here at the recap room. And, you know, right now on social media, there's a hot conversation happening. Okay, well, when it comes to men and women. So Ebony K. Williams was having a conversation with Iyala Van Zandt. Okay. And the that question sounds, that sounds heavy. immediately, like yeah. heavy. You hear those two names and it's like, oh, we're yeah. serious now, yeah. right? So they were having a conversation about dating, right? Mm-hmm. And Iyala asked Ebony very simply, would you date a bus driver? Mm. Okay. Ebony immediately said no, not unless he owned the company, mm-hmm. right? So there's a huge social media conversation, people on both sides. I think it's almost split down the middle. So many mm-hmm. women feel like, you know, for Ebony to say that she would not date a bus driver was uh, basically saying that she's ruling out a large part of middle class mm-hmm. black America, right? Mm-hmm. Other people said black women deserve to have standards. She's obviously at a certain level. She's upper echelon. She's very educated. At a certain place in her career, she deserves to have a man that is at her level that she's equally yoked with. Mm-hmm. I'm interested to hear, because most of this conversation is carried on by women. I'm interested to hear <laughs> a man's perspective. Does that... Does that... Oh, God, women need to stop talking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> a plan, guys. Yeah, I know that's why we're involving you. We want to hear... What does a man think when he hears that? Do you uh, think that that's being listen, unreasonable? Let me say this. Let me say this first of all. Um, there's a lot of learned psychology mm-hmm. in this society. There's a lot of influence on how people think. Right. At the end of the day, if you don't have a connection to who you really are, if you don't have a connection to something bigger than you, you can get lost in the madness of what should be and what shouldn't be. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people are saying a lot of things not knowing. It's not even who they are. Yeah, It's something they've adopted, an idea that they've adopted from other people saying this is what it should be. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's the first thing I'll put out there. It's like okay. really look at yourself mm-hmm. and say, do you really in your core, in your heart, is there any conflict in you? Is there any warfare in you, within you with what you're saying to mm-hmm. people? Mm-hmm. Because again, I say we're in a society that's full of agendas, yeah. full of people fighting for some type of social... Uh, presence and, and respect and and sometimes you like you create these ideas because they sound good mm-hmm. and it's great to say these things mm-hmm. because all your girlfriends are saying it yeah so it must be I should say this too I yeah. should say that or you get lots of likes yeah you get like, all this stuff mm-hmm. right so that's the first thing I'll say really mm-hmm. really connect with love and what that means to you and companionship and fulfilling yourself from where your spirit lies right within you and that blocks out all of the madness that mm-hmm. is all this other rhetoric right that at the end of the day, because guess what? You say you want this six-figure man, you get the six-figure man, and then you're miserable. Very true. He got six figures. He, he ain't driving the bus, but he owns it. Okay, you got what you want. Mm-hmm. But why are you miserable? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why are you miserable? Because it was an adopted idea that you thought was the standards, mm-hmm. but it wasn't what was fulfilling you because that's not what you needed Right. at the end of the day. Right. So that's the first thing I say. Really look at yourself. Be in, spend more time in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. No, that's be, good. And be honest. And that's for men and women. That's across the board. Mm-hmm. So you get caught up in the, the, this old social rhetoric of what standards really are. Right. Um, but outside of that, as a man, it's hard to hear that your qualifications are about your, your financial status, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. particularly as a black man, because we already know the system that's set up. We're already behind right. from the start. So right. if you're a black woman, if, if, I'll say the black women who raising black boys. Mm-hmm. Do you want women to, to judge your son based on his, because you got to think about how do you think about your son when you watch your son go through the struggles trying to get to success? Mm-hmm. You want a woman to look at him and say, oh, he hasn't made six figures. He's not he an executive of some company, but you're the mother. You say, but my son has all this. Yeah. To offer you. My baby's a good boy. <laughs> He's a good, I've raised him. I know what he has to offer you mm-hmm. as a young man. But you can't see that because you, you're qualifying him yeah. based on what his success is today. Mm-hmm. And we all know there's too many rags to riches stories when it comes to all people and all black men mm-hmm. in terms of how they got to where they got to. Mm-hmm. So in most great cases, if you take a Denzel and you take a Pauletta, yeah. you take a Michelle and a, a, and a Barack, mm-hmm. You got that woman, that that relationship, that weathered the storm, and you grew yeah. together, yeah. and you built together. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Our people are not born with silver spoons in their mouth. Yeah. The majority of us not. We're born fighting and in, born into a struggle. Mm-hmm. So when you make that superficial, yeah, you got to be careful what you're asking for. You got to be careful about what your standards are because they have to be integral standards, mm-hmm. and they have to be standards that are fulfilling your spirit, not your ideas. Mm-hmm. Right, because mm-hmm. those are not going to be last, long lasting, right. and those are artificial relationships. Right. So if you get that six foot man, all you want, but 
Yeah. <laughs> then what? Then what? Yeah, then what? Yeah. No, I like that a lot. I think that's that's uh, that's really good advice. I think that there is on the other side, you know, as a man who is accomplished. Um, I heard a lot of men say, well, you know, when a man is really ready to, to, to marry, he doesn't, he wants to be able to provide, Absolutely. you know, for his, for his woman. So how, what would you suggest to women that need to understand the balance out of just what is the, how can they know how to kind of look and, and decipher a man that truly is, wants to do better and just needs a little bit of support and maybe even just love or one that, you know, we need to leave him where he's at because he's not well, ready. Well, you have to, you have to. You have to have somebody who has one purpose, mm -hmm. and they have to be motivated. Uh, not one that has a gift of gab, who can sell you something just by pitching it to you or mm -hmm. just telling you the same stuff over and over again, mm -hmm. because the proof is in the pudding. If you got yeah. a man who's saying, I'm going to be this, and I'm doing this, and I'm planning to do this, and then three years go by, he has not taken one initiative mm -hmm. to execute the plan. Mm -hmm. He's not pursuing that passion. Then you know that's not the one. Right. But you gotta have somebody who has purpose, who knows what they what what the you know, what goals that make sense, mm -hmm. tangible goals, mm -hmm. things that you can build and work towards, and then you can you can engage in that. You can say, okay, I see it, mm -hmm. and I see how you move it. You know, if you take my wife, she's not in entertainment at all. Mm -hmm. We're from the same hometown, but she married somebody who had a vision at some point when I realized this is who I am. Mm -hmm. Then it became, okay, I got to go to school. I got to get degrees. I got to get training. Mm -hmm. I got to do these things. And that commitment to that, she could see that. Yeah. And she could see my efforts into trying to get to a place that's greater. Mm -hmm. There was a struggle in that for her because my struggle became her struggle. Right. And there were some sacrifices along the way. Mm -hmm. But you had a man who had purpose and was driven mm -hmm. and considered you in the process and asked, hey, hang in there. Mm -hmm. Hang in there. I'm getting there. Hang in there. And it takes that kind of woman to say, okay, I'm hanging in there. Yeah. That is a beautiful thing.